Right, so I'm Callum Bustin, uh, 23 and number eight. Brilliant. So first of all then, Cal, where did it all start for you? You know, where did you grow up? How did you get into rugby? Uh, so I'm from South West London near uh, Heathrow Airport. So I started rugby at the age of four um, when my dad took it up and we went down to the rugby club with him um, and then ended up playing rugby league for a while and didn't come back into until last season to uh, Yorkshire Carnegie uh, to hop back over to Union. Right, so tell us about your, your experience in Rugby League, or who have you played for? Uh, so I've played for um, London Broncos, uh, signed for Castleford Tigers and went on loan to Newcastle and signed for Bradford after that. Brilliant, so uh, how did you make the transition from League uh, to Rugby Union? Uh, through my agent, he um, knew quite a lot of contacts over, um, over with uh, Leeds Rhinos who put him into contact with Yorkshire Carnegie. Um, was Yorkshire Carnegie where you were last year? Is that the, the one year that you've had in Union? Yeah, yeah, apart from as a youngster. Right, it was a bit like Rotherham last year up at Leeds, uh, tough on the pitch. Uh, how did you find that personally? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, it was probably even tougher for me last year because I um, tore my hamstring twice. Um, so, but it's, it's a bit demoralising losing, but it was a nice bunch of players and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's always going to be tough in them environments. Absolutely. Predominantly, what position did you play at Leeds? Um, number eight. Number eight at Leeds. Okay. Now, uh, Titans head coach Steve Salvin, I believe, started uh, last season as forwards coach up at Heading Lee. Yeah. Is that where you first got to know Steve? Yeah, so I um, knew him from, from until he left uh, Yorkshire. He's the main reason why I'm here at the moment. He's really keen on getting me down here. Um, and. It'll be nice to have him as a coach next season. Yeah, what can you tell us about Steve? Anything we don't know? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, but uh, as your forward coach last year, I'm guessing you picked up one or two uh, good pieces of advice from Steve. Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, he was helping me out, um, obviously coming from rugby league um, and forgetting about some of the rule changes and stuff. Uh, he was keeping me on my toes with him, so it'll be nice to work with him again. Okay, so what do you know about Rotherham Titans? Uh, probably not that much, but is there anything you've heard about the club? Yeah, not not a huge amount. Um, I know that it's a tough place to come to, to play against, and I know that the fans is like a family club, so uh, it'll be nice to be here next year. Absolutely, so what, what are your hopes for uh, the new season when we get going? Um, it's always going to be promotion, get back up from uh, obviously um, ended up getting relegated in a bit of bad circumstances because Rotherham were picking it up towards the end but ideally we want to just get straight back up. Brilliant uh, and just finally uh, I'm sure you know uh, you're not only joining on the pitch you're joining off the pitch because uh, you're going to be working with Lindsay in the Titans Community Foundation. How excited are you uh, about that opportunity? I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've done a little bit of coaching myself um, from Rugby League, but it's always nice to pick up new skills and just uh, try and get youngsters to get involved in rugby again. Brilliant. And just finally, I'm sure you know, in essence, uh, the fans through the crowdfund have actually paid for you to join the club. So. Just the last one, have you got a message to the supporters? Yeah, I just want to say thank you for uh, uh, getting the money to bring me to the club and hopefully I can uh, repay you on the pitch 